All right, this is a chapter 13 snippet. We're gonna talk about stock issuance. Stock issuance is pretty basic, but I wanna make sure that you understand or if you have any questions, we can go over it uh, through this video, hopefully. Uh, stock issuance can impact any, or well, not impact, can can happen in, in, in a myriad of ways. So let's say we're gonna issue, it could be, let's just say it's an initial public offering, doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna offer up, um, we're gonna offer up 100,000 shares. All right, and then, uh, the, the, the face value or par value, I'll put par value, par value, face value should be more dealt with in chapter 14 under bonds. But uh, par value, let's say, is $1 each. And um, let's go ahead and format this. Let's not do one. Let's, there we go. Okay, $1 par value. And then the um, uh, fair market value or the cost that we're going to issue is going to be 5 bucks. okay? Let's um, let's do the journal entry that's going to record this. All right. Let's say we issue this on June fourteenth. So we're going to say June fourteenth. Um, we're going to have <clears throat> debit. We're going to get cash out of this. So let's put debit here, credit here, and we're going to get the a full amount, the hundred thousand shares times whatever the fair market value of it was. And remember, we cannot issue. Stock, uh, stock below fair market value. Whoops, I wanted that to be dollars, not that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what are we gonna do on the credit side? So let's go ahead and do this. First of all, we're gonna do common stock. This is a common stock transaction. And we're gonna take the number of shares and we're gonna multiply that by the par value, okay? $100,000 is what we're gonna put into common stock. And I'm gonna have this indented. Remember, you wanna indent the, um, okay, good. You wanna indent the, the credits. The last one here is because we're issuing this above par value, we're gonna have additional, um, this is the way I do it, additional paid in capital. It can be paid in capital in excess of par. Uh, again, in the lecture, I told you that I, I do a lot of things to calculate or to, to use that as that because it changes over the years. That's how I learned how to do it, additional paid account. How do we calculate that? We can do it two ways. One, we can just simply take the cash minus the common stock, and we're going to get that 400000 That's the easy way that I really don't know how to do this way, but we're going to do it anyway. This is how you can calculate it if you don't know one of the other variables, okay? You're going to come up here, and you're going to take 5 minus, uh, excuse me, the fair market value minus the par value. Let's go ahead and put those in. Oops. I'll fix that myself. I know. Um, we're gonna put these in parentheses because we want it to do that first. And then we're gonna multiply by the total number of shares. And look, we're gonna get the same exact amount that we did before, all right? So that's how we're calculating our, our um, <clears throat> common stock and additional paid in capital. Uh, I hope that helps. And, and again, we can, you know, because we did this this way, what if the fair market value was one? Well, we're gonna have a journal entry that looks like this. If our fair market value was uh, 100, uh, we're gonna have bigger numbers, but our numbers are gonna look like this, okay? And then let's say the par value changed and it was $50 par value. You see how things affect and impact. Let's say we issued um, 50,000 shares. You know, we can change this around all we want and we're gonna get the same amount. Because of how we set this up, that's what we're gonna look at, all right? Um, that's it for stock issuance. It's basically the same thing, just different numbers. I'm not going to cover so much the other stuff because it's pretty much straightforward. This is the calculation I want you to for sure know. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know.